Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special rare build for you guys, man. We have the Scrappy Wing. I know you guys love the Scrappy 2 guard. So I had to bring the Scrappy Wing again. But each time I make a build over, it's better. Trust me on that, okay? Because I have learned so much from when the game first came out until now. So I can really... You know get in the builder and, and, and just go crazy you know what i'm saying so with this build you will be able to finish you get those contact dunks you still can shoot you will be able to make play with this build you can get your own shot you do have a 95 steal on this build and i'm going to explain the rest of it once i get to the defense but you still have great defense in my opinion so let's go ahead and put the build that small forward truth hand of your choice and the jersey number your choice let's get it man but before i go any further you already know what time it is if you don't know now you know it's like button time and i need you guys to go down there and hit that like button Get this video to 100 likes, man. That's the goal. And hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. Six foot seven for this build. 213 on the weight. Seven four wingspan. Built by the shape. Let's get into the build. We're gonna go ahead and start with the finishing. Y'all know I love to start with that finishing, man. Go ahead and get that out the way. So with the driving dunk on this build, we are going to take it to a 86. A 86 is pretty good in my opinion. Sometimes I do 85. Sometimes I do 86. And sometimes I do 87. It just depends on what I get at each um, upgrade. So this time we're going to 86. For the driver layup, we're going to get that up to 84. This is for all my people out there that won't go acrobat, okay? You get it tier one, so it only costs you three bash points. So I think that's pretty good. For the close shot, we're going to go ahead and take that close shot up to a 67. We don't want to change the name of the build. Um, you have to be careful with that part because you can easily change the name of the build. For the standard dunk, we're going to get that to a 64. Now, normally I would take that up a lot higher, but I think that's fine, you know, given the fact that you, you don't really need um, super high standard dunk to get the standard dunk animations. You could get a 40 to a 45 standard dunk and be just fine, but we try to get more badges at this point, and we do get 17. So, I would use sli uh, slippery all ball, not slippery all ball, but uh, slithery, <laughs> limitless takeoff, posterized, so that's 7, 13, 19. Uh, we use fast twist, that's 22. Fearless on silver, that's 26. And we'll probably throw in rise up and acrobat. So 27, let's say 30 for the sake of this video. And we need about 13 if we go at it like that. So we'll try to core tier three badges. It's going to take a long time to core limitless takeoff on gold. So you'll do best trying to core something else. And, you know, if you want everything that I called out on the level that I just called it out, then you're going to need 30. But if you don't, then you won't need 30, okay? But it depends on what you want to do. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl screen badge. We're going to take that three-point shot to a 79. And a 79 three-point shot is pretty good, man. I have been putting the 79 three-point shot on a lot of bills. And I think that's a great three-point shot. You know, in my opinion, you can go out there and get the job done with that. But if you can't, go ahead and take it up. But it will probably change the name to a three-point shooter or something like that. For the mid-range shot, we do have a 74. And the free throw is a 60. Free throw, I always take it to a 60, and you can take it up higher if you want to. Um, you know, that's a personal preference at the end of the day. I do fine with a 60, so I just kind of put at least a 60. Take it up higher if you want to. So with those 17 badges, I would go with Amp, Claymore. We would throw in Slippery All Ball, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Green Machine, and everything else is pretty much icing on the cake. Now, I really don't use these badges over here, man. Um, unless I got like a high three-point shot, I throw limitless range in there. But uh, dead eye, agent three, blinders, I really don't use those badges. But hey, to each his own, man. I'm not telling you guys to play like me. You play the way that you play or, um, you know, play the way somebody else play. But I don't really use that badge if we're talking about it. But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video, so do that for yeah, boy, boy. Now, with this build, we can't take the play where the ball handle up too high because it can easily change the build name to a tempo pushing wing. And we don't want that name, and I know a lot of people are probably going to complain, oh, I won't go quick first step. Well, if you want to go quick first step, it's going to change the name of the build so do what you want to do with that for the speed with ball same thing with that it can change the name by taking it up higher um then a i think if you take it up to an 80 you change the name of the bill something like that you know but we took it to a 77 and i think that's pretty good for the pass accuracy we're going to get that to a 76 and that 76 does allow us to get a total of 19 
um, playmaking badge, right? So that's pretty good. And <clears throat> excuse me. And I was like, man, let me go ahead and try to do everything I can to get a lot of badges on this bill because I couldn't I couldn't put the stuff nowhere else. I mean, I could have went with the post scoring, but I think I did one with post scoring. So um, I just got to playmaking up a lot. So with those in 18, I would go with Anchor Breaker, throw in uh, Need a Threat. I my, my controller be tweaking, man. Um, throw in uh, Need a Threader. We'll throw in Hyperdrive, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Handle for Days, and Clamp Breaker. We will use those badges. We go out there and get our own shot. We don't have to depend on nobody to get us our shot. But even if the ball handle is low, you still can move around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So don't think just because the ball handle is low that you can't move around and get your own shot. It just depends on um, who you're playing with. You know, somebody may be playing with you, and they just want you to play great defense. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So um, when you're creating these builds, you have to think of that. You have to think of, like, man, do I want to uh, create a build just for me, or do I want to be a team player and create my build according to who I play with? So that's something to think about. But let's go ahead and get it to the defense and the rebounding badge, right? So for an interior defense, we're going to take that up to a 68. And we did that to get those extra badges. As you can see, we go from 0 to 2. So, of course, we're going to do that. Not saying you have to have this interior defense. Hell, I think I got a 68 interior defense on my center. And I haven't even taken it up yet, you know, because it would change the, um, I mean, I, I'll go over 92. And, you know, sometimes when you go into the wreck, man, you don't feel like playing against squad all the time. So keep your build that's a 92 and under. But trust me on that, okay? If you want to go into the wreck and dominate, trust me. Well, not necessarily dominate because you run across some good people. But, you know, uh, if you don't want to be playing squads all the time, man, go in there with a 92 and under. For the perimeter defense, we're going to get that up to a 78. A 78 does allow us to get... Um, you know, good perimeter defense, and the thing is, we can't take it up to an 86. I know I would love to have it at an 86, but of course, that would change the name of the bill. So, we do have Brun Clamps on this bill, which is okay. Um, for the steel, we do have a 95 on that. That will allow us to get um, what we get uh, gold intercepted, gold glove, very important. For the block, we're going to take that block up to an 87. That's maxed out. We do get silver anchor and gold chase down artist. On the rebound, we have great rebound on this build, man. We have 85 offense and a 74 defense, and we do get 26 of them things. So I will use clamps, intercept the glove, rebound chaser, chase down, anchor, uh, box, pogo, and everything else pretty much icing on the cake. Um, that's totally up to you, but you do have enough to do what you need to do on this build. Look at the combination, 17, 17, 19, and 26. Not bad. For the speed, we have an 85. Acceleration is an 80. Strength is a 50. Vert, 75. And the rest is on stamina. And I went past the 90 on the stamina too, man. Y'all be talking about me. <laughs> so for the takeover, we have finishing, sharpshooting, perimeter defense, and rebounding. So we're just going to choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we do have shades of Scotty Pippen, Jason Tatum, and Scotty Barnes. I may put Jason Tatum on the thumbnail since they're in the playoff. And the build name is a scrappy wing. That's the build no matter here, man. Ciao.